hearty welcome to today's chemistry session. Today in this session, let's learn about the preparation of amines. So, we have mainly six methods of preparation of amines we have to study. So, let's see them. First one is reduction of nitro compounds. So, any of the nitro compounds we can reduce into corresponding amines. Then, ammonolysis of alkyl halides. You know alkyl halide, RH. And then reduction of nitriles. Nitriles can be reduced to amines. Reduction of amides. Amides can be reduced to amines. Gabriel thalamide synthesis. We have two main reactions here. One is Gabriel thalamide synthesis. You know that name reactions are very important in the point of view of exam. So here in the preparation of amines we have two name reactions. One is Gabriel thalamide synthesis and Hoffman bromamide degradation reaction. So these are the specific methods of preparation of amines which we are going to discuss in this chapter. Okay. So let's see the first method of preparation of amines that is reduction of nitro compounds. So you can see here we have nitro compounds here. This is nitro compound and then so passing hydrogen gas over finely powdered metals like palladium, platinum etc. we will get amine. Okay. And then we have two methods shown here. One is with the iron scrap and hydrochloric acid and with the metals in the presence of acidic medium. Okay. And see here this method among these two methods the second method is preferred. This method is preferred. Why this method is preferred? When the iron scrap react with the hydrochloric acid FeCl2 is formed. FeCl2 is formed. The formed FeCl2 will hydrolyze itself to give HCl. And so, for this reaction we need HCl, isn't it? So, this HCl just enough to have a little amount. Once the reaction starts, that little amount of HCl is enough to start or initiate the reaction. Once the reaction starts, this reaction medium itself will produce HCl. So no need of more amount of HCl. With very less amount of HCl. That means with very less amount of reactants, what is needed, we can produce amine. So because of that, the second method is preferred when we are thinking about preparing amines from reduction of, by reduction of nitro compounds. Okay. So this is the first method of preparation of amines. Now let's see the second method of preparation of amines. That is ammonolysis of alkyl halides. So we are trying to uh, make use of this uh, particular uh, ammonia NH3 as a nucleophile. You know that it is carrying uh, two electrons, three electrons in that. And so it will be allowed to have positive charge. So it is a nucleophile, isn't it? And so we use this nucleophile to break this bond of uh, Rx that is alkyl halide to form a primary amine. Actually this method ammonolysis of alkyl halides is used for all kinds of amines like the primary amine, secondary amine, tertiary amine and quaternary ammonium salt. All this you can prepare from this particular uh, method ammonolysis of alkyl halides. We will see how we can do it. Now this is uh, ammonia and this is a nucleophile. This acts as a nucleophile. This acts as a nucleophile and this, this uh, nucleophile uh, comes and attacks this alkyl halide and forms an intermediate. Thus R NH3 plus X minus. It is not a stable compound you know and it is an intermediate. And what will be the next step you can see here. This R is here and this NH3 is here. Okay. And then what is here? This X is here and this negative charge, this particular bond, electrons are shifted to shifted on or clouded upon X. Okay. And then what is the next step that we can expect? From this, one HX will be left off. One HX will leave. This will be the leaving group. What is remaining? R NH2. You will get R NH2. One H will go from here and one X from here. HX will be the leaving group. This will leave. Leaving group. Okay. This will be the leaving group. And so you will get RNH2. You know that RNH2 is a primary amine. Isn't it? Okay. 
So you got that primary amine. So we will see the next step. This primary amine that we have formed, we will take here R and H2. So the primary amine is formed. You can again, you can again treat it with the alkyl halide. So R X again treat with alkyl halide. You will get the same procedure will go. So what you will get? This R will join with this one. Isn't it? 1 H will go with this X. So what you will get? R2 2R. Okay. R2 N H you will get. 1 H will go with the leaving group. HX. Isn't it? R2 NH. Okay. What type of an amine is this? That is a secondary amine. Right? This is a secondary amine. So a secondary amine is formed. Now this secondary amine R2NH will again react with alkyl halide Rx gives what? You know the same R3 R3 N and this H will go with the leaving group plus HX. So tertiary amine is also ready. Now the last step is the formation of a quaternary ammonium salt. We will see R3N plus Rx again. You will get R4N NX. Okay. This is a quaternary ammonium salt. Quaternary This is a quaternary ammonium Why there is no leaving group? You know that there is no, there is no hydrogen available for the formation of HX. So it will exist as a salt which is a quaternary ammonium salt. And uh, amine from this can be freed by treating this quaternary ammonium salt with the a strong alkali, okay, like uh, sodium hydroxide. You will see that, okay. So this is the way the reaction proceeds. Primary amine is formed, which is again uh, getting, uh, uh, doing this amenolysis of alkyl halides to form secondary amine, and then that is forming tertiary amine and forms quaternary ammonium salt. Quaternary ammonium salt. And forms quaternary ammonium salt. And uh, as I have explained, the leaving group is not just leaving us uh, HX. We have to undergo certain procedures. You let me see this. This primary amine to get. The first thing what we have got was R, R NH3 plus X minus. That was the first product that we have got during the amenolysis of um, ammonia. See, um, by using ammonia as nucleophile, uh, reacting with the uh, alkyl halide, you got quaternary ammonium salt. How it is separated, in, uh, how it is separated and taken as a primary amine, you can see it react with the sodium hydroxide. Will allow it to react with the sodium hydroxide and it forms RNH3. RNH2 that is the primary amine plus NAX minus NAX minus plus 1 H from here, 1 H from here, H2. So this is the way how we separate this. Once a salt is formed, corresponding salt will be formed. Each time primary amine forms, a salt is formed. For secondary amine, a salt is formed. A tertiary amine and salt is formed. You see here for quaternary ammonium also ammonium salt is formed. And from this salt, how we separate this as primary, secondary, and tertiary amines are by using sodium hydroxide. A strong alkali. Any of the strong alkali you can use, and then you can separate it as primary, secondary, and tertiary. Okay. And this is the way we separate. And one of the most uh, important disadvantages of this process of a monolysis of alkyl halides is. There is a possibility of formation of primary, secondary and tertiary amine uh, in the same reaction medium. And so it is difficult to separate. It is not 
so easy as to separate like that. So it is going to be a confusion uh, during the process of hemolysis because primary, secondary, tertiary, all these amines can be present in the reaction medium and we have to separate each one with the difficulty. It is not so easy. And this you can uh, preferably use only for the preparation of primary amine. How you can do that? By taking excess amount of ammonia. At the beginning itself, we are taking ammonia as nucleophile now. Then if we take excess amount of ammonia, then you will get primary amine alone first. And so that is easy. So you can use this ammonolysis of alkyl halides only for the preparation of primary amine also. Just by taking excess amount of ammonia. And then uh, uh, when thinking about the reactivity of alkyl halides during the ammonolysis of alkyl halides, it's as usual. Bigger halide will be the best, better leaving group, right? We always learned that. Uh, that is bigger halide will be the better leaving group. So the reactivity, reactivity of alkyl halide will be Ri greater than R B R greater than R C L. Right? So this is the reactivity of alkyl halide when coming to the ammonolysis of alkyl halides. Now the third method of preparation is going to be very important because you will get the tricky questions from this to predict the product or to predict the reactant. Mostly we get questions like that. The reduction of nitriles. So this is nitrile. So just by reducing nitrile either by catalytic hydrogenation like this or by just reducing with lithium aluminium hydride. L-I-L-I-A-L-H-4. Just by using lithium aluminium hydride to reduce or by catalytic hydrogenation you will get corresponding amine. And what is the speciality of this formed amine? This will be one higher amine from the existing nitrile which you have taken. So in this reduction of nitriles you will get in the product one carbon more in the product amine than in the starting amine. That is its speciality. A higher amine you will get after catalytic hydrogenation or reduction of lithium aluminium hydride of nitriles when you get amine you will get a, a one higher amine. Okay that's what. Now the next method of preparation is reduction of amides. So this is amide. Amide when reduced by lithium aluminium hydride you will get amine. Very simple right? Yeah. Now let's see the fifth method of preparation of amides. That is Gabriel thalamide synthesis. It is a name reaction and so it is important. Okay. And just by seeing the name you need not to get uh, worried about uh, the synthesis. It is very simple. One thing you should know the structure of thalamide. This is thalamide. This is thalamide. So once you know what is thalamide, this particular reaction is going to be extremely simple. You see here, this is thalamide. Okay. It is uh, reacted with alcoholic KOH and you will get the potassium salt of this corresponding thalamide. This is the potassium salt. You can see that. Same re same reactant is written like this. N K plus N minus K plus. That is, this is potassium salt of the thalamide. And then it reacts with alkyl halide followed by alkaline hydrolysis. This is sodium hydroxide, aqueous sodium hydroxide. So, thalamide reacting with alcoholic KOH forms potassium salt of thalamide and then it reacts with alkyl halide and then the next step is alkaline hydrolysis and you will get the primary amine, that's all. Okay, so this is thalamide reacting with KOH, it will give potassium salt of thalamide reacting with alkyl halide, you will get N. Alkyl thalamide you will get. N alkyl thalamide you will get. Then uh, undergoing uh, alcoholic hydrolysis, that means uh, reacting with NaOH, alka alkaline hydrolysis, what you will get? This is alkyl, strongest alkyl, right? By undergoing alkaline hydrolysis, this ring will get open up. You see here, and what is formed? Primary amine is formed. R NH2 is formed. Primary amine. And this method is used only for the preparation of aliphatic amines. This R cannot be an aromatic but it can be only aliphatic amines. Okay. This Gabriel thalamide synthesis is only meant for preparing aliphatic primary amines, not aromatic primary amines. And it is used for the preparation of primary amines only. Okay. 
and so this is going to be important it is used for the preparation of aliphatic trimeric and it is a name reaction and you know once you know the structure of thalamine you can write this reaction without any doubt okay now we will see the last method of preparation of amides that is hoffman bromamide degradation reaction you know that this reaction is important because it is a name reaction and another thing this is a reaction which is used for the preparation of primary amines and what type of primary amine it can be a tricky question to find out the reactant or the product because the form of the primary amine will be having a carbon less than the amide that is taken as the reactant okay the formed amine will have a carbon less than the amide which is taken as the reactant you can see here one ch ka here and that is not here that means the primary amine that is formed will be having one carbon less than the reactant amide which you have taken and the reaction proceeds like this this uh, amide react with the bromine in the presence of alcoholic sodium hydroxide to give out sodium carbonate sodium bromide and then water and then the main important product what we what we need that is primary amine okay so a nitrogen is uh, see this r is just migrating to, to this part of amide here nh2 r nh2 is formed and this part is lost this carbon is lost on the process of formation of product okay and you will get the primary amine that is this is the primary amine so this is hoffman bromamide degradation reaction where you can get one carbon less than the amide which you are taking as the reactant so if you want to get primary one you have to take this one r c o o n h okay i hope you have understood the preparation methods we will come up with uh, loads and loads of examples so it will be clear for you you can expect a lot of tricky questions to predict the product and reacting from this type of questions okay